I've taken social distancing to a new level. It's about peace of mind, tranquility, wisdom, discernment. I'll show you how to do it. You can take it or leave it. Your call. Keep your head down a little bit here. Yeah. The current in that bayou where we were a while ago, you get that net, if you notice, I strung it out. The current, it's like an accordion. It's like an accordion. The current holds it open. I'm in my boat. I let it out in the current. The current is keeping it open. The current's going this way. The current holds it open like that. See what I'm saying? I got it tied off on a limb. See that hole there? I made them holes right there, them flues. These catfish go up in there but they go around the edge of it, not realizing you got to come right back the way you went in. A fish can't figure that out. So right there, he goes through that hole, then he goes through that back hole. He's trying to get out, but he's going around the edge of it. He's not smart enough to say, I need to go right back that, through that same hole I came in on. He doesn't realize that, he's trapped. A squirrel can get up in there, can't get out. You'd think it'd just come right back out of that hole. No, nope. can't figure it out. You pull them up, dump them in your boat, put it back out, the current holds it open, hoop net. I made all these. You wonder what I did down here for years and years and years, 12, 15 years? I was tying these nets up, making nets. good size in there. I don't know what it is yet. There ain't many. Got a pretty little op in there. See? See how it works? You got enough to feed about 10 people. You can feed 10 off of that one catch. See, the current is holding the net open. It's facing downstream. So you use the current. That's what holds your net just sitting on the bottom. And you tie your, tie your net back under the water so no one can see it. Although no one can get here by boat, 
the good news is they don't know how to get here by a boat because it's a long, it's a slick way you got to come up through here, through them woods there. See this fish right here? This is a drum, freshwater drum. Freshwater drum. He's edible, but not the best. Now up here, these high fins. All of these are high fins. These are just the right size for eating. I'm bleeding that one. You cut him on the tail to drain the blood out of him. That's an op. That brown one, that's the best for his table fare. That's top of the line. No fishiness, no strong flavor. I mean, he's the best out of fresh water there is. Chase went to the Sea of Galilee over there in Israel. He said it was full of them ops right there. The Almighty knew what he was doing when it came down to good, what's the best fish, that's him. Back in the day, instead of one net, just to have your dinner, when I was fishing for a living, I had a hundred of those out. So you can imagine you run a hundred nets, fill the back of your pickup chuck, or load of them, take them to town. 70 cents a pound on those, that tub full would be 70 bucks. So back when I was doing it for a living, there was far more riding on it than it is now. Now, I want fresh fish. I put out one net. I've been fishing that spot for 40 years. It's a run there. You put them nets where you know the fish are on the bottom of the bayou. The reason I know they're going right through there where I put that net, because I fished Every place you could put a net, when I was commercial fishing, you'd put a net out, if it didn't catch, you move it. If it didn't catch, you move it. If it didn't catch, you move it. So you were constantly moving nets to where you were catching them and taking them up where you were not catching them. This is flowing right now because the water's way up. When the water falls all the way down, this won't flow anymore. It'll be just dead water. A lot of little eel cat out here. Good eating. That's that's the one they make the pond raised catfish out of. Fiddler cat, we call them. Eel cat. So there's no such thing as running out of a food supply. There's dinner, 12 o'clock. In the daytime, in the south, we call it dinner. Y'all call it lunch. That's dinner and supper. Somebody says, well, what if you hadn't caught those fish today? What would you do if you'd caught nothing? Go grab another net or two. Instead of one, have three. You just do what you have to do. Want to do it today. <laughs>